वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश ट्वेंटी नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज यूज टू सपोर्ट द मशीन विच एग्जर्ट फोर्स ऑफ सिक्स किप्स एंड एट किप्स एज शोन इफ द मैक्सिमम बर्निंग स्ट्रेस इज नॉट टू एक्सीड ट्वेंटी टू के एस आई डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड विद विड बी ऑफ द फ्लैंज सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द वाइट फ्लैंज बीम क्लियर एंड देयर इज अ मशीन विच एक्ट अ फोर्स ऑफ सिक्स किप एंड एट किप The cross section of this white flange beam is shown, so you have to find this width B of this white flange beam. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if we remove this support, so there will be a reaction force. Let this is represented as R one, and this is point one. And if you remove this roller support, so you will be having a reaction force which is R two, and this is point two. So we'll apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point two is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point two, we have one uh, moment is R one into perpendicular distance is this twenty feet, and this will produce clockwise moment, so it will be negative. The second moment is due to this six into perpendicular distance is fourteen feet. And this is producing counterclockwise moment, so it will be plus. The third moment is due to eight into six, and this will produce counterclockwise moment, so it will be positive. So I will write it. Um, R one into perpendicular distance is twenty, and that is minus plus six into fourteen, plus eight into six is equal to zero. So minus twenty R one plus eighty four. Plus forty-eight is equal to zero. So when you solve this, you will get R one will be equal to six point six kips. Okay. Now you have this R one. You can find R two by using sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force taken apart as positive. So four forces R one minus six minus eight plus R two is equal to Zero. So R one is six point six minus six plus eight. Sorry, minus eight plus R two is equal to zero. So from here you will get R two is equal to seven point four kip. Now you have this R one and R two. You can just use them to find the shear force and bending moment diagram. Why? Because we know that maximum Stress is equal to maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So from here you will get maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by I divided by C, which is section modulus. So that we can find. So we need maximum bending moment. So that's why we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So what we have to do is you have to take the vertical line from the end of this beam, and then there is a horizontal line to show the length in feet. X will be in feet. So we have you have shear force that will be in uh, kips. Okay. So let each force is of five. So this is ten. Similarly, minus five and minus ten. You can choose as per your convenience. Now you can see we have at point one we have R one which is equal to six point six. So we'll first plot six point six over here. So let this is point and this is six point six. Now moving from this till the point where there is load. This load is six point six. And you can see here we have a load of minus six, so six point six minus six is equal to zero point six. So load will change to zero point six. Let this point is zero point six. Now from zero point six till this load, you have this same shear force. Now at this point we have minus eight, so zero point six minus eight is equal to. Minus seven point four. So shear force will change to minus seven point four. So let this is your minus seven point four. 
and then it will remain same till end because you can see at end we have r2 which is 7.4 so it will go upward that will be zero so this is your shear force diagram now from this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram so again x in feet clear you have movement that will be in kips into feet so first area is this one and this area is equal to 6.6 .6 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 39.6 kips into feet so at this point we have 36 kips into feet so let each is of uh, uh, 10 so 10 20 30 40 so at this point we have 39.6 which is approximately this one now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending movement will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line so we will join these two points this is 39.6 again the second area is the smallest one 0 0.6 multiply by this 0 0.6 multiply by 8 which is equal to 4.8 so 39.6 plus 4.8 will equal to 44.4 so our over the length of 14 inch we have 44.4 so let this is your 44.4 this point 44.4 and this shear force is a horizontal line and this area is plus one so the bending movement will be the one degree line and slope will be increasing so it will be a straight line it will be a straight line i don't know why this is going to happen so it will be a straight line this second point should be over here okay now that's fine okay so we will move toward third area and this area is minus 7.4 multiplied by 6 which is equal to minus 44.4 so plus 44.4 and minus 44.4 will bring it to zero and we will get a straight line because the shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and since this area is negative so slope will be decreasing so now from this shear force and bending moment diagram we will get um, max maximum absolute value of bending stress comes out to be 44.4 kips into feet to convert it into inch it will be equal to 44.4 multiply by 12 and unit will be equal to kips into feet now as we have this formula maximum stress is equal to maximum movement divided by i over c which i have already explained over here so this i is equal to we will calculate i for this beam so this i if we take if you take it as a rectangular so this i will be equal to 1 over 12 base into height which is 8 cube minus 2 times this area or you can see if i write it so it will be better i is equal to 1 over 12 breadth is b and height is uh, 8 cube because 7 inch plus 0.5 plus 0.5 is 8 minus 1 over 12 now if you subtract this thickness from b it, i means b minus 0 0.5 so it will give you this remaining portion and height is 7 inch so i will write it b minus 0 0.5 into 7 cube this will give you i and this i is equal to 14.083 b plus 14.292 if you simplify it you will get i is equal to this 
and what about c so c is equal to distance from neutral axis till topmost so 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 plus this 0 0.5 is equal to 4 so c is equal to 4 inch now you can just put it in this formula so you can see that uh, maximum bending moment divided by maximum stress is equal to i divided by c and this i divided by c is known as section modulus so maximum bending moment is 44.4 into 12 divided by maximum bending stress given is 22 ksi so you can put it 22 ksi I will not multiply it with 10 to power 3 because this maximum moment is again in kips. So that will cut down and that is equal to I divided by C. I divided by C is 0.14.083B plus 14.292 divided by C is 4. Okay. So when you solve this for B, you will get B will be equal to 5.86 inch. So this is the answer of our this question 11.29. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, I will request them to subscribe it and Press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Also tell me about the quality of video in, as in the form of feedback in the comment section. Thank you.